Hello friends, this video on mechanical properties of solid part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 9 before going ahead with part 10. Now that we have studied Young's modulus, it is time to study the second type of modulus of elasticity, that is the shear modulus. As the name suggests, shear modulus ha has to be related with the shearing stress and shearing strain. So from the name itself, we can say that shear modulus is the ratio of shearing stress, shearing stress to shearing strain. It is also known as modulus of rigidity. Shear modulus is also called modulus of rigidity. It is generally denoted by capital G. As the way Young's modulus is denoted by capital Y, similarly shear modulus is denoted by capital G. So we can say this capital G is equal to shearing stress by shearing strain. That is what is shearing stress? Shearing stress is again force per unit area. What is shearing strain? It is the small displacement so, shearing strain is the small displacement that takes place divided by the initial length that is L. So, this is equal to F into L divided by A into delta X. Or we can also say, so this is on the basis of shearing strain is equal to delta X by L. We also know that shearing strain is equal to theta. That is, we know that Shearing strain. What is shearing strain? Shearing strain is delta x by L that is the small displacement per unit length or it is also equal to theta. It is also denoted by theta right? So we can say that 1 by theta is equal to L by delta x. Now using these, this alternative definition of shearing strain we can write this as F by A theta. So this is how we generally mathematically express shearing, shear modulus. The SI unit is again Newton per meter square because shearing strain is unitless. Shearing stress will have the unit of force per unit area that is Newton per meter square or we can write it as Pascal. Now relation between shear modulus and Young's modulus. Shear modulus is generally less than Young's modulus. Shear modulus is generally shear modulus is generally less than Young's modulus. That is, most of the times it is found that the value of shear modulus is less than Young's modulus. For most of the materials, the relation is shear modulus is one third of the Young's modulus. So, how do we get this value? This is basically found experimentally. When experimentally the data of Young's modulus and shear modulus for many of the materials were compared, it was found that for majority of them, this relation hold true. That is, shear modulus is approximately equal to one third of the value of Young's modulus. Now, let us look at the problem. It says, a box shaped piece of wax has a top area of 10 cm square and a height of 2 cm. That means, we have a box, that is, we have a box like this. This is basically a piece of wax which is in the form of a box, in the shape of a box. Okay, so this is a piece of wax which has a top area of 10 cm square. The top area is 10 cm square and a height of 2 cm. This height is 2 cm and this area, here I have not drawn it in a proper way. I am just showing it as a rectangle but basically it is uh, something like a cuboid. So this top area will be. 2 cm square. Now when a shearing force of 0.5 Newton is applied to the upper surface, that means a force is applied to this surface. Then what happened? The upper surface displaces 4 mm relative to the bottom surface. That means with relative to the bottom surface, the upper surface get displaced this way. So it gets displaced by some angle theta. And this distance, that is the distance which it gets displaced, is 4 millimeter, right? 
So we have to find out the shearing stress, shearing strain and shear modulus. So in this case, what all is given? The top area is given as 10 cm square. Height is given as 2 cm. The displacement, that is the small displacement which we are talking about, which we generally denote by x, is given as 4 mm. Okay. So now let us calculate, first of all, the shearing stress. So what will be the shearing stress? As per definition of shearing stress, it would be the tangential force divided by area of the face. So the force is being applied on the top face and the area of the top face is 10 cm square. So that means we can say the force which is applied is 0 0.5 Newton and the area of the top face is 10 cm square. That is 10 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. So this comes out to be 500 Pascal. So this would be the shearing stress. Now let us calculate shearing strain. Now again by definition of shearing strain this is equal to the small displacement that takes place which is x divided by the initial length. This, this is the displacement which takes place divided by initial length and this is also defined as this can also be written as what is the initial small displacement? The small displacement is 4 mm that is 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters. And what was the initial length? The initial length is nothing but this height. This was the height. So what was this height? It was 2 centimeters that is 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters. So this comes out to be 0 0.2. So this is the value of shearing strength. And then last I have to find out the shear modulus. Now what is shear modulus? Shear modulus is nothing but shearing stress by shearing strain. So shearing stress is 500 divided by shearing strain which is 0 0.2. So this comes out to be 2500 pascals. So this is the value of shear modulus for wax. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.